Matthew 10, 28 says, Don't be afraid of those who can kill the body, but, but cannot kill the soul, but rather be afraid of the one that can destroy both your soul and your body in hell. I don't like that scripture either. But it's the truth. It's the truth. That's who you better be afraid of. Well, it can't be me she's talking to today. Actually, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I believe every person in the room I'm talking to today. You haven't needed God, and you did okay without Him. And He says, you're wretched, you're poor, and you're blind and you're naked. And you need him more than you've ever needed anything in your entire life. But you are so stubborn in your life. At one time, you knew him. But you've become lukewarm. Are you on fire for God? Boy, that's a question every saint here I'm going to ask. Are you on fire for God? Are you sold out to Jesus? Is he the number one in your life? Or is he number 42 down the list? I've got enough of God. I've got my wife. I've got my kids. I've got my husband. I, I'm okay, Daniil. Quit picking on me. I'm not picking on you today. This is not my sermon. This is actually a sermon that the Holy Spirit said I had to preach. It's called Tough Love. Nobody here wants God to spit them out of their mouth. Can I still go to heaven if God spits me out of my mouth, his mouth? you got to understand what it means for God to spit you out of his mouth. It's a loogie. It's... <coughs> Are those saved words wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked? Are they saved words? No, God is describing the condition of somebody's life. And life is this one time. The rope is only... This is how big your life is on the rope that stretches until you can no longer see it into eternity. And this is the end that you're in right now. But what you do here determines where you're going to go in eternity. I'm going into eternal life or eternal death. Hell or heaven. So if it's money that's holding you back, if it's your boat that holds you back, if it's your house that holds you back from serving God, if it's your job that holds you back, if it's the fact you never needed them before. Why are you going to need them now? Eternity is right now for you to decide. So I want to ask this question. Who's dying in here? If you're a born again, sold out to Jesus person, you're written on the palm of his hand. And he's got your life and you're secure. If you're lukewarm, only you know that. And God's saying to you, I don't want you lukewarm. Straighten it out, Daniel. Straighten it out, church. He's actually probably talking to America. Straighten it out. You've been rich. You're prosperous. But you're really poor, naked, blind, wretched. So I don't know. God's talking to many different hearts today on different levels. But if you're dying, God says get your house in order because you're not promised tomorrow.